Hi to all Best Sports HL Channel fans. We have the top 10 weirdest moments in combat sports history ever. 10. One million dollar question. What fighter will lose in this fight? MMA fighter Alan Gray loses his prosthetic eye during a fight with Jose Johnston. It's a miracle the referee didn't stamp on the eye as the fight was being stopped. Nine. You know, he, he's came into the elite, he's picked up a lot of skill. Why was Attila Kubale so angry at his opponent? We don't know. For some reason, Attila from the beginning of the fight was only trying to hurt his opponent. This is what Balcat wants. He wants to fight on the mat. That's right, Richard taking side position. Attila does well to turn him. He has the arm cocked at the back. Richard turns in again, does well. I mean, I know we mentioned earlier about the idea that it's striker versus grappler, but Attila's background is Valetudo as well, so very, very simple. Everything was over with an illegal knee and his disqualification. Off of his opponent, Grant actually had to restrain, his, restrain Attila to stop him from fighting. Attila's getting aggressive. Stupid behavior by Attila here. Richard, Richard back kept... Eight. After ugly cheap shots, something that you must love, MMA fail play moment of the decade. Mike Pentango was an amateur MMA fighter who was totally dominating a fight against Jeremy Rasner at the Prison City Fighter League when he realized that his opponent was no match against him. Fearing that he might critically injure and hospitalize Rasner, Pentango decided it was necessary to tap out and give Rasner the win for the match. Seven. A new million dollar question. What fighter in a blue t-shirt will lose in this fight? Did someone answer underpants? Yes, Joseph Holland lost his underpants, not once, but twice in that fight. Next fights and next losing stuffers. Fight number two and the same question. What part of equipment will lose one of these two fighters? Growing cup. This is what happens when you buy cheap cups. You can't handle it. Another uppercut. Shimada's given him every chance, every chance to recover here. And Patello's on top, railing away. 
more punches. More punches from Buentello. Somehow Sokoju survived. I can't believe Shimada didn't step in there. Three and a half left in the third and final round. Bomb City from Paul Buentello. If I was Buentello now, it's difficult to say I'd stand up and get Sokoju to stand up too. And, I, and Grant, I can't understand he didn't call a stoppage, and now he's standing him up? This is an, an incredulous stand -up. Six. Back to 2015 on Abu Dhabi Warriors 3 event, Ramo Sakuju barely survived the rain of punches from Paul Buentello. Japanese referee Yuji Shimada didn't want to stop this fight, although it was clear that Sakuju can't continue with fighting. One, two by the big Texan. Sakuju is on wobbly legs. Rubber legs by Sokuju. Bantel in the corner. Uppercut again. Sokuju has... He's fallen out of the ring. Sokuju has fallen out of the ring. Sokuju, I can't believe they're not calling this fight. My God, he can't even move. I think he's, uh, he's, he's trying to get a breather, but my God, for the safety of the fighter. Quintella waving the crowds into it. They're on their feet cheering for the heavyweight. What a performance by this 41-year-old veteran. I, Sokuju is not well, folks. He's on rubbery legs. It's, it's only going to be a matter of time. I, I'm really concerned with the health. The, the, I'm really concerned for the health of Sokuju here. Another big shot by Buentello. Sokuju has basically, he's basically out on his feet. Buentello pours another left hand, and that's it. There it is. Five. Remember this scene from Rocky II? Both fighters fell down, and the winner was the fighter who stood up before the referee counted 10. Put the pressure on him, make him uncomfortable. In the real world, something like that happened on Shamrock FC 285. Alan Vasquez won because he stepped up first and showed that he could continue. The fight is over! Oh my goodness, they ladies and gentlemen! Dropped. Both of them! And Vasquez has declared the winner because he was out he got cold. back up. I have never seen that. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Vasquez comes training, and both Boom. of them landing the hands. Oh my goodness. Vasquez is out cold, and Cazares is down, and manages to get back up. And another legendary double knockout and maybe even more legendary referee reaction on it. This was Shawnee Carter in MMA's first ever double knockout. Year was 2008. Four. We have a rain, small MMA event, and fighter Vaso Siho Bakachevic. That must be something unusual. <laughs> Ring collapsing is already seen in fake pro wrestling fights, but in the real world, it's extremely rare. We found only one more in the Ivanov versus Alir Latifi fight in 2008. Three, Kirill Tereshin, a.k.a. Popeye, was the bloke who became an overnight internet sensation for the simple fact that he's got abnormally large biceps. And no, it's not because he loves an arm sesh and a couple of protein shakes down at his local gym. It's because he injected petroleum jelly into them a few years back. Tereshin took on Russian blogger Oleg Mongol in an MMA fight in Russia, and to say things did not go well for bazooka arms would be accurate as he lost to Mongol via tap out. 
Renat Liatifov is the most unfortunate fighter ever. First, he lost by knockout after only five seconds. After that, in a day state, he attacked the referee and was choked out by him. Liatifov suffered a knockout and a guillotine choke submission in the first 20 seconds of this fight. Interesting. After that fight, Liatifov had a perfect MMA score, four fights and four wins. On the other side, his opponent Carlo Caput lost all three fights. One. Oh, okay. Da hat die Schulter ist raus. Okay. Das kommt nicht so häufig vor. Anscheinend hat er sich bei einem Overhand. Die Schulter ausgekugelt. Beziehungsweise ja, jemand muss sie einringen. Mixed Martial Arts is an individual sport that requires athletes to square off one on one and attempt to outmuscle and outsmart one another. Competitors Pata Tashpelia and Arcadius Robelski worked together to make their fight happen in Germany, though. When Pata pulled Arcadius' shoulder back into place after he dislocated it on a massive overhand punch. What's more impressive, the fact that Arcadius continued to fight or that Pata gave him the opportunity to. The trainer didn't even get a chance to see the injury for himself for crying out loud. And that's all for now. If this video becomes popular, we'll create part two. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Sehr schön! Schöne Aktion! Riesenrespekt an Pater!